everyone. Welcome. Tonight I am going to do a flip through of Whimsical World Big Book Coloring Book 100 Illustrations by Molly Harrison. Um, so originally I had planned when I got Happy Mail to color in them as they came in on video to show my appreciation. However, I did get some new media that is on its way for my birthday. So I thought maybe I would do a flip and then when my new media got here, I would do a color along with the new media just so everyone could see it and kind of see what other people thought if they had the same media as me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through it and then when the rest of my birthday haul arrives, I will go from there. So this is a very thick book. This is my first book of Molly Harrison's. Sorry, trying to make sure I'm centered here. All right. So these ones have lots of imagination for background. Some are more detailed than others. They are not perforated. They are Amazon paper. This gift was um, from Jamie at Jamie's Coloring Love for my birthday. So shout out to her. Thank you. I've had my eye on her work for a while. I just never could decide where to start. And I think this was a great pick because it has a little bit of everything. A little bit of every season, different levels. There's busy, there's... This one's a little busier. So I'm really excited to play with them and see. got a couple other books I'm also going to do a flip through of for my birthday and then hopefully here soon the rest of it will get here. I'm going kind of quick because this is a little bit of a thicker book. This one might be a good one to start with. I know Jamie said she has this book too. Um, she did come down with COVID, so we probably won't be butter, buddy coloring right away, but we soon. Sorry, my little one waited till I started filming to ask me to open a popsicle. This one would be a good one to do um, gelatos. For the background for the water and then I like a pretty sunset or something that goes with the green. We have my eye on quite a few of these. I've seen a lot of people do really cool things with her work. Cute dress. These little birds. Cute too. Lots of little witches. I do like some witches. I'm very into fall themed type things, so I do like fall color palettes as well. This is cute. Rainbow, super fun. Lots of little fairies. This one is cute with the dragon. It would be cool to kind of make this like a night scene and kind of make this flower look like it's glowing on the dragon that hatched. Might have to try it. I flipped through all these books and there's so many pages I want to do and so many ideas that go through my head. One too. I do tend to lean toward the busier pages. That is just what draws my attention. I am learning to sort of add my own details. Like this one, I might add some wallpaper to the background just to kind of help fill in some blank space. Sorry, trying to flatten it so it'll lay flat. There we go. It is a thicker book, so it does want to hold up a little. 
this one kind of feels like it needs a background to me, even if it is just like a horizon with a palm tree or something, just because I, I feel like she's kind of just floating there, hanging out. It is a cute picture, I just feel like it's missing something. <gasps> Very excited for this one. Very excited for this one. Neat. You can hear that, I'm sorry. That is the upstairs neighbors. Apparently they felt the need like they needed to stop all the way through the house. This one is also very neat to me. Gives me kind of, I'm not sure. Reminds me of something, I just can't think of what. This is neat also. Lots of, lots of skies. If you need to work on your clouds and your sunsets or your daytime gradients, your nighttime, Galaxy, this is a perfect book for that. There is all kinds of them. This one almost makes me want to do a rainbow background. Just because I haven't done one in a long time and I love rainbows and I feel like they fit unicorns really well. And if I'm gonna have a unicorn, I might as well have a unicorn background. Jellyfish, I like the bubbles on this one. This is gonna be neat to try and do. I do like how she incorporates the kind of 3D effect with having like the see-through balloons and bubbles and things like that. Um, I think the first book I had my eye on of Molly's was her Halloween book. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head, but I think she has a witch on the cover and it's like purple and pink. Um, and I did see this one and I was really torn because I was like, I really like fall and Halloween, but I did order a lot of those type of books. But I was kind of scared to jump right in with this one because I wasn't sure about her work yet. I had, I'd seen a little bit of it, but I've never tried it myself. Very glad Jamie decided to get us a matching book and that she picked this one. It's a great pick. This one is calling my name too. Very, very cute. do hope to get a couple pages done in this for anyone else that would like to see some Molly Harrison. Um, this one to me, I'm not sure why, but I really want to do like the golden yellow, more a little bit reddish purple sunflowers and then do like a blood moon for some reason. That just feels like, but it has bees so maybe not because I don't want to drown them out. I can't decide. That's just kind of what I do when I go through books. I kind of just get an idea for myself of what I'd like to do. Color palettes that jump into my head. Ideas. Things I can do with it. I try not to do the same as anyone else. I do like to follow tor tutorials from other artists. Um, it was I did a lot of those just to kind of learn what colors go together. Color palettes. Color combinations. Media. Um, but these days, I like to kind of venture out on my own. This one is neat. These can be really pretty flowers. Another little dragon guy. Or a girl, if you so wish. This one is also very neat. And this one might be a fun one to start with for winter. I do have a double page winter spread going on already that I really need to sit down and get to work on. I feel like this month, like I waited for so long for it to get here and to have a birthday and to see my friends from out of town and to be able to get put my Christmas books away and start on my New Year's resolutions and now here it is the 11th and I don't feel like I've colored anything. <laughs> I'm so behind. I think all I've accomplished this month so far is book flips. So I am hoping to fix that. Hoping to get a couple. Maybe I'll try speed coloring. It's hard. I have a hard time speed coloring because I'm a talker. If you can't tell from my videos or book flips, especially these longer ones, I'm a talker and I like to ramble and I think sometimes 
I get to speed coloring and forget that I'm going to do Andy out with music anyway, so you won't be able to hear me. Um, like this one has like so much potential you could do with it. It's a very simple page, but it has like so many ways it could be gorgeous. You could do a yellow moon, you could do a gray and black moon, you could do, you could turn it into a planet with rings, you could, it is a bird, so you know, you could do a sun, you could go a complete different way, it doesn't even have to be sky, it does have stars, but it doesn't have to be sky, so many fun things, and that's kind of why I like to stop and look at them and see how many ways can I do this picture, and then I kind of pick my favorite from there, this cloud almost looks like it has a little face. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, but it really looks like it has a face to me. <gasps> I like this one. I'm a real sucker for water. I've been working real hard on my water in my creeks um, since I started my Snow White page, and it came out really well. So now every time I see water, I'm like, oh, gotta try it. This is a really cute Easter page. Also, it could be spring. Babies are born in spring. Cute. Another one. This one would be kind of fun to like do a black background and maybe add some yellow for like fireflies or something. A princess, pretty and pink. St. Patrick's Day, so you got a little bit of everything going on back here. A witch. Another witch, lots of witches, which is perfect for me. I do adore witches. This one is very cute. Um, the great thing I like about starting with these uh, littler like this is because I am beginning to learn skin and hair with different medias other than skin tone markers and Prisma pencils. So these are little ones are kind of funner to start with just to test the waters and see what combinations you like. So here's a fun bubble one. I know lots of people have put out tutorials for bubbles lately. Let's see, I like how she makes her see-through. And she also lightened this line so to, as if to tell you, you know, this part will automatically be lighter than the bubble in front of it. That would be fun. This would be a good one to practice your um, light rays through the water. Beautiful sun picture. I think I would add maybe some flowers or grass just to... I don't do well with blank space. Don't. Fish, very cute. The same with this one. We're missing something. She's just kind of standing there, but I don't know where. Could add a cool tree to the background for the nighttime. Something like that. Another mermaid. And that is that for this book. So I thank you for hanging out with me listening to my stories as I went through this very long book. Uh, once again, I want to thank Jamie for the birthday present. I really appreciate it. And I'm hoping I will see you all again in this book when the rest of my supplies get here because I do have a couple on the way that I do think will work very well in this book. I love these wings. I might have to try these wings. So I thank you for watching and I hope to see you next video.